feature that is automatically three ah. days before right. you have an, when you have an item checked out, if mm -hmm. there is not a hold on it, your item will automatically renew. So clearly we have had a, a number. I mean, there are ch the book charges are almost, it's almost like everything but a thousand books older book you know were automatically renewed so it's um, it's an interesting um, very patron friendly service but we're looking at it closely to see what the impact of the automatic renewals mm -hmm. will be have on our collections now that doesn't happen if there's somebody who wants if to somebody's it, right? yeah if a <laughs> well met or Kenilworth mm -hmm. resident is waiting for it no but um, so that's that really skews the numbers because mm -hmm. it, it's the first time we can really see what a big impact it has yeah. on us. And then I just want to well, draw your attention to the um, creativity grants. Oh yes. That is a little bit farther in. Mm -hmm. So um, this year, so the 17 means it's the fiscal year 17, 18. So we've had some of the stuff you've seen before, but I don't think mm -hmm. you've seen Janet Peel's or Ruth Bell's, no. mm -hmm. um, which are both really um, creative ideas. Mm -hmm. With Janet got a number of staff to just go visit other libraries and see what they're doing and steal their ideas if we yeah. felt that That's that great. would be. That's really great. Yeah, though. and then mm -hmm. they came back to talk. So I thought that was very creative. And Ruth mm -hmm. is our um, new full-time outreach, youth outreach mm -hmm. librarian who is um, very gung-ho and has put together some tote bags that have, um, like, book bags for preschools. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah, mm -hmm. so she's doing a good job with that. Thank you for doing this. One of the things that confused me with the creativity grants is some of them look like they could be just regular capital purchases as opposed to a program for creativity, like the water fountain. For, yeah, I'm just looking through them. So right, how right. are they distinguished? Because I would think it'd be something that somebody, you know, a staff member came up that was new and different that would never happen as opposed to putting white bull by and white bulls. Well, I think that these were things that were not, that, that's exactly right. It was a staff being creative. Certainly we could have just done it, but it's a staff putting mm -hmm. forth their ideas and... So it came from somebody in particular. Yeah. 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 Well, when I think right. of creativity, I think of... Yeah. Staff actually coming up with a program, but that can uh, be revisited at another time. Well, I think it, some of these d were pro. I mean, I think it's across were, the board. It's across the board, but it's, right. to me, kind of hazy if I'm looking at creativity grants and I see the range of them, and some of them uh, look like they could have just paid for, been paid for out of the regular budget. That's all. So, but thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then from our fundraising um, efforts, this year, our um, public was given the opportunity to donate to the um, ALA Disaster Relief Fund. Uh -huh. And this is a letter from ALA, their Associate Executive Director, recognizing that the um, residents of Wilmette and Kenilworth donated $2,275.50 to the ALA Disaster Relief Fund. Are you going to put that on a website with a little note, thank you? I think it'd be we, nice to publicize that. Thank you. We right could, now. sure. Mm -hmm. Because I think, I mean, if you, even as we oh. see more and more about how some communities, some American communities like Puerto Rico, um, were so devastated, and more and more of the news that comes out, that I, th I feel glad that we were yeah, able, yeah, yeah. I hope, to be mm -hmm. part of helping them start to rebuild. That, that can be, yeah. That's a good idea. I think if you put it out there, um, if there's some way of saying what disaster we're talking, you know, we're talking about. Or okay, what, what the relief right. fund is. Yeah, exactly. Sure. Sure, good idea. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Jan. 
Mar yeah. What's going on in the library world in Illinois? Not too much. It's been very, very quiet, actually. <laughs> there isn't much uh, from the uh, one that we have in there. But the, the one thing that caught my eye was that um, Jeannie Dilger is at Palatine now, and there was an article in there about they started a story walk. So I was just curious to see if it reflected what we did or when when it started. And there was a little bit of um, history, I think. I didn't mark it, but Story Walk started maybe seven years ago. Um, and Palatine, indeed, has done pretty much the same thing that we do. They picked a big space in a park and then put pages of the story around for the, the kids to go. and. Um, it worked very well, of course. Um, let's see. The story oh, at the at the reserve that they had. Anyway, not much, but that was just interesting to see. And I think the story walk actually started by um, it did actually Anne Ferguson from Montpelier in Vermont in 2007. And Karen Joshi, of yeah. course, picked it up right. and just ran with it here. So that's it. Um, well, actually, I guess I should have referenced that there were committees meetings that took place in May. The um, Finance Committee, and you see their work reflected in the items that we um, approved earlier, and as well the Landscape Committee meeting, which have continued and will probably continue to meet um, going forward until mm -hmm. that project is meeting. Those met as well. Um, information items. Um, I draw your attention to the role of the trustee located behind attachment 14. We can all use reminders. Mm -hmm. um, maybe we'll have that in next month as well. And the um, one reason I had thought about that is because I've talked to some other trustees, and I know that United for Libraries does 10 minutes. And I think for some of the newer trustees, I think it might be helpful. And I think what sparked me thinking that there might be a need for education among some are emails directing staff to do things that aren't our mission or yes, don't follow yes. our strategic yeah, plan. Right. No, I think this is really good, and it's simple, and it's direct, and you know you can take a look at it and read it and just see how it applies immediately. So, yeah, that good was idea. the impetus for that one. Uh -huh. Thank you. We'll Excuse we'll me. we'll keep it on our radar. Um, I'm trying to think, there was something else. Oh, there were some nice comments, some interesting comments. Um, yes. yes. Nice conversation. So, yeah, thank you, Betty, for oh, there's the from my area. Uh, and um, oh, the sign for the lunch. Uh, mm -hmm. the, yeah, the, the recommendation, for the first floor. The oh, where you can eat. Where you can eat. Does all the staff know where patrons can eat? Oh, yeah. Well, we have directed right. the certain uh, manager. Yeah. You know, sometimes it is interesting. We do, we do have some new staff that started over the summer, so that makes mm -hmm. Some things that seem obvious to us who are here all the time, and then you realize, well, maybe it's not so obvious. So, um, does anyone have anything else? Congratulations for 19 years. Cynthia. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Yeah. 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 anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, absolutely. Yes. Um, We have to have a closed meeting here. Yes. Yep. Okay. By a motion. To uh, close before we close, the, uh, yeah. move to the closed meeting. Um, anyone else? Any other business want to raise uh, before we move to close the meeting? Okay. Um, got a motion to close the meeting. Go into. A motion to close the meeting. Okay. Stewart is moved to close the meeting. And I second it. Okay. Uh, do you want us to roll abscond call. into the next space? You need a roll call. Need a roll yep, call. Need a roll call. Jan, call a roll call. Okay, Trustee Rogers. Yes. Rogers. Trustee McDonald. Aye. Trustee O'Loughlin. Aye. Trustee Barshis. Yes. Trustee Wolf. I'm going to abstain.
<laughs> Why not? <laughs>